walls, arches and heraldry. Although historians do not seem to be able to reach agreement on this subject, the presence of remains shows that Silos did have a wall with four arches or gates situated around the four cardinal point. Indeed, during the golden centuries of the town, the, the 12th and 13th centuries, when the town became the head of the region or Merindath, it was a centre of pilgrimage comparable to Santiago, and its districts housed Castilians, Gascons, Franks, civilians, Navarrans, Aragonese, Jews and Moors. Its economy was both agriculture-based and of an urban nature, and the town was surrounded by a wall which, according to the experts, and given its size, could have provided for up to 3,000 people, a figure which does perhaps seem rather too high. Two of the gates have survived to this day. One of them is currently being restored along with the canvas of the wall. The gates served their taxation purposes, as well as providing protection at night for the inhabitants within the walls. Sometimes one gate had two names, but the names were the gates of the Barbascones, a, a clear reference to the Gascons, La Calderera of the town, of the fountain, or St. John, of St. Palayo, and of the Coronel. The heraldry of Silos has enjoyed better fortune than the walls and the arches, if we take a nice slow walk round the streets of Silos, we will be able to admire the numerous coats of arms which, throughout the town's history, have been prominently displayed over doors, arches or simple lintels of columns. Sculpted in the 16th century, the abbatial coat of arms is to be found in the large patio which is situated beside the street of Santo Domingo. This coat of arms comprises three figures. In the centre, the staff, symbol of the jurisdiction of the abbot, and also a symbol of the monastery's independence from other justice systems, either noble or of the council. Above the staff and at the two sides there are three crowns, reminding us of the vision that Santo Domingo had shortly after arriving at this monastery as abbot, and with which the Lord encouraged him to undertake the work of restoring the monastery. Finally, the shackles which cross the centre of the staff remind us of the prisoners who in the 12th, 13th and 14th centuries were liberated miraculously by the intercession of Santo Domingo de Silos. The royal crown is magnificently represented in the second of the coats of arms which particularly interest us. This is a large piece which is located on the main façade of the entrance to the monastery. It dates back to 1739 and is stamped with the crown and with the collar of the golden fleece. In 1445, control over the town of Silos was transferred from the abbey to the noble Velasco family. The power of this family, whose members held the titles of Condestables or Constables of Castile and Dukes of Frias in the 16th century, was represented graphically by their checkered silver and blue coat of arms on the town walls. Nowadays, only this coat of arms remains on the Arch of St. John. Septiem, Otaniev and Majo were illustrious family names in Silos during the 16th, 17th and 18th centuries and evidence of the presence of these families is provided by the coats of arms displayed on their houses. Two of these are located in the main square and the house of the Majo family was built in the street of Las Condesas. This is currently a museum of musical instruments known as Los Sonidos de la Tierra, the sounds of the land. The museum exhibits instruments from all over the world. The coat of arms of the Septiem family shows a castle built on rocks and with a gate open. Two men armed with a lance are at its gate, with dogs at their feet. At the top, there is the sun and the moon, and in the middle, in two well-arranged groups, there are six stars. Finally, its edge displays the heads of seven moors. The coat of arms bears a helmet with plumes, on top of which there is a crowned eagle. A ribbon flows out of each side of the eagle. The ribbon carries the following intriguing word, life which always dies. Let it be lost. What is lost? La vida que siempre muere, que se pierda. Que se pierde. The house of the Otaniez family was built before the middle of the 16th century. The front has a semicircular arch surrounded by an ornamental frame with a balcony and above this the coat of arms which is divided into four parts. The first and the fourth have five 
Copa's Realizor Royal Goblets with their covers in an X shape. The second and the third parts of five poplar leaves, also in an X shape, representing the weapons of the Otanieth family. The Macho were the last noble family to have coats of arms among their urban possessions. Present in Silos between 1560 and 1640, its members carried out municipal work on behalf of the so-called state of good men, so they had a major role in leading the rivalry of the town against the Condestables of Castile. On the right of the coat of arms there is a lance held by a hand and on the left there is a hat with two cords hanging from it and on the hat there is a Calatrava cross.